Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to promote Windows 2008 Enterprise Edition as Active Directory Domain Controller. Now in the previous video, I have demonstrated you how to install Windows 2008 Enterprise Edition and I have also told you in the last video also that how to make the both client and server ping with each other and to do remote desktop connection between client and server. Now in my series of Windows 2008 Enterprise Edition in order to make you teach about Windows administration, I will be taking Windows 2008 and I will be taking Windows 7 as the client. Now before I install Active Directory on Windows 2008, let me first of all discuss what is meant by Active Directory. Now Active Directory which is also known as AD is a directory service that Microsoft developed for Windows domain networks. It is included in most Windows Server operating systems as a set of processes and services. Active Directory was only in charge of centralized domain management and starting with Windows Server 2008, Active Directory became an umbrella title for broad range of directory based identity related services. A server running Active Directory domain services is called a domain controller. It authenticates and authorizes all users and computers in a Windows domain type network, assigning and enforcing security policies for all computers and installing or updating software. For example, when a user logs on to a computer, this is a part of Windows domain, Active Directory checks the submitted password and determines whether the user is a system administrator or normal user. And the most important, Active Directory uses lightweight directory access protocol that is known as LDAP version 2 and 3, Microsoft versions of Kerberos and DNS. Now before we start with the installation, let me tell you that in this video, first of all, let us first of all configure Windows 2008 to be uh, acting as an Active Directory domain controller. After that, we will be installing Active Directory and then we will be going, going towards the client uh, in order to have the connectivity and we will be also configuring DNS server in this video. So let us start. Now you can see that I am running two uh, operating systems on my Oracle Virtual Box that is Windows 2008 and Windows 7. Windows 2008 Enterprise Edition, I have already demonstrated how to install it uh, which will be acting as a server and Windows 7 which will be acting as a client. So let us minimize it and let us go to this machine first of all. So let us go to view and full screen and now let us go to this input and go to keyboard and insert Control Alt Del. Now you can see that I have started with the password so let us log in with the administrator. So before we start with the Active Directory installation we have to do some steps on uh, uh, Windows Server 2008 to make it a correct running server into it. So the first step is to improve the resolution so right click over here and click on personalize. So let us uh, bypass this first of all because uh, we have uh, shut the server. So. Let us minimize this. So let us go to the personalization and let us go to this that is called display settings. So first of all let me set the resolution to 1024 into 768. So now click on yes and now click on ok. So the next step is to make it that is uh, right click over here click on properties and click on classic startup menu click on ok. So everything is over there. Now change the computer name. So before we change the computer name, let us first of all add uh, the network IP which will be very important for you. So right click on this network connection center and click on manage network connections. So right click over here, click on properties. So the most important step is first of all uncheck this internet protocol version 6 because we are not going to use it. If you keep it checked and even if you put the IP address over here, you will be having problem during active directory installation. Okay, so let us double click this IPv4 and let us give a static IP to this. So let us give this IP address 192.168.1.100. So let me give the gateway address 192.168.1.100 again. And now let us give the DNS IP address 192.168.1.100. So this will be the first primary setting which you have to do before you install Active Directory Domain Services. So let us click on OK. OK, close it and let's close this. So now let us first of all change the computer name. So right click over here, click on properties. So click on change settings. 
so now you can see that the full computer name is like this I don't want this type of uh, junky name so let us click on change and now just remove this and I'll give the name that is window hyphen server 2008 so you can give any name or server 2008 or anything whatever you so it is about that so click on OK so we have to restart the computer and then we come so we will be starting with the installation part so let us restart the computer now and uh, one more thing that is we have to off the firewall also so let us go to control panel and windows firewall is there so let us click on uh, turn windows firewall on and off so click on off and click apply click ok so now everything is being set up and after we set the restart now we will be coming uh, towards installation of active directory so click on restart now so before it starts let us go to our client and let us do some steps over there also so here is my windows 7 client let me log in with my username so the same steps in order to make this client ready for the domain so let us click on personalize and now you can see if you want to change any theme you can change it so I will just leave it over here so let us first of all increase the resolution so increase the resolution towards here click on apply so keep changes click OK after that we just go to right click on my computer click on properties so we can even change the computer name over here if you want to change the computer name you can click on change you but there is no need because it is ok so the next step is to provide an IP address so I just give the IP address change network adapter settings right click on properties so I just again uncheck this and I click on IPv4 and now I just give the IP address 192.168.1.101 because 1.100 is our uh, server IP so the gateway would be our server 1.100 and for the DNS I would be taking 192.168.1.100 so click OK OK and close it so I just click on home network and I click close so the next step is to disable the firewall so go to control panel and just search firewall so check fire uh, sorry so check firewall status now click on this turn windows firewall on or off and just put these two checkboxes on that is turn off windows firewall so click ok and close so this is our client setting so let us see whether we have started our server yes the server has started so now let us go to this that is go to input keyboard insert control alt del and let us login with the password So once it gets started, we will be get, getting up with the server manager. So in the server manager, we have to add some roles. So what we have to do? So here is a server manager. So you can see the time zone is there. So let it first of all load. Yes. So now you can see that everything has been loaded. So just click on this add roles. Now click on next and now what you have to do is to just check this box that is active directory domain services so click on next so click next click install so it will not take much time and after that we will be firing up the installation of active directory So depending on how much RAM do you have, you have allocated, it will be taking up. So what I recommend is to allocate both, uh, you can say, uh, client and server equally about 2 to GB RAM. So in order to do a very good practice of server 2008, and uh, it is required that a RAM should be very good. And I will be bringing more series, like uh, making this as an IS server, making this as a DHCP server, but in this video we will be only covering that is how to make the server 2008 ready for Active Directory, how to install Active Directory, how to make it as a DNS server and how to join the client with the server. So now you can see that the installation has succeeded. So let us click close and now we have to go to this DC promo. So click close and I close this server manager also. So now what I have to do is to just, let's close it. 
just go to run and type this command DC promo. The full form of this is called domain controller promotion. So click enter. So now first of all click next. So just uh, improve capability about that server. So no need to check about this. So click next. So now there are two things existing forest add a domain controller to existing domain which means that uh, suppose that if you're having one server more and you want to make this as a new server you can add this or uh, create a new domain in existing forest but I assume that right now I'm having no domain no forest I want to create a new server want to deploy new networking so I just click on create a new domain in a new forest so click on next and now I have to type in the full qualified domain name. So what I do, I just type my name that is anand.net. You can type any name like uh, abc.net or xyz or your company name .com or .net or .org, whatever the name you'd like to specify. So click on next. Now it will check whether this name is a novel name or it should not be existing. If it is existing, it will be giving an error. But if it is not there, it will be proceeding. So it is checking up the net BIOS name. So it has found no name of like that. So just forest function level, which means the forest 2000 will be providing all Active Directory domain services that are available in 2000 server. So you can just check it or you can just even type 2003 or 2008. But I recommend 2000 so that low level servers can be added to this domain also. So click next domain function level. Again, it is native. You can check all the details over here. So click on next. And now it is examining the DNS server. It is very important for you to make this as an Active Directory and DNS server also. So click on next. So it is saying that a, a delegation of DNS server cannot be created because authoritative server cannot be found. So which means that uh, it is going to install the DNS. So click on yes. So here are the three files which will be installed that is NTDS, SQL folder, database folder and log folder. So don't need to change anything. So click on next. And now we have to provide the administrator password, the same password which we require for the administrator. So I just provide the administrator password now and click on next. So it gives you all the details of all the settings which you have uh, been set it up. So you can even click on export settings and you can type any file name and you can save it. So you can save it, but it's an optional thing. So you can just click next to start the installation. So now you can see that the Active Directory has started the DNS. So believe me everyone, we have just covered our 50%, which means that we have just uh, make our server ready for Active Directory and we have installed Active Directory and now we will configure Active Directory with DNS server and then we will be joining the client and then we'll be making a user and we'll be logging in the client. So lots of work is there. But if you follow step by step, which uh, you can see in my video, you will find no problem in configuring Active Directory. So it will take about a minute or five minutes to install. So I will not pause the video. You can just see. Now you can see that it is creating the directory partition with CN configuration, DC Anand and DC Net. 192 objects are being remaining. Setting up the policy and it is securing. So with 2 GB of RAM, you can see that the performance is very good. And now it will be asking us for reboot. So I will pause the video then because it will take some time to reboot and get the server started. And once we get started, the system will be acting as a full fledged domain controller. So now you can see that we can click on finish. So it is asking for restart. So let us click on restart now. So till it starts, we just pause the video for just one or two minutes. So now you can see that the server has booted up. And now let us go to this input again, keyboard, insert control alter del. So let us give the password. So now you can see that it has started as a domain controller, but we have to configure it. So how to configure? We will be giving you that detail step by step. Okay. So now what you have to do is to just go to start, go to programs, administrative tools, and now you can find DNS. So let us minimize this. So if you expand this, right click over here and click on launch NS lookup, you can find that 
the server is being timed out and it is not being configured. So what you have to do is to just click on this forward lookup zones. So there is anand.net. I will not be configuring any forward lookup zone. I just go to this reverse lookup zone. So right click this reverse lookup zone, click on new zone. So click next. So type of the zone will be primary zone and store the zone in active directory. So no need to change anything. Let it remain default. So click next. So the next option is to which zone created replicated to all domain controllers in the domain. So click on next. So we are using IPv4. So no need for taking this IPv6. So IPv4 is OK. So click next. So now over here you have to enter the first three digits of your IP address. Now as you know that our IP address is 192.168.1.100. So let me type the IP address 192.168.1. So click on next. So allow both security updates. So click on next and click finish. So now expand this and now you can find two entries over here. So right click over here and click on new pointer. So type the last IP address that is 100, 100 and click on browse. Double click this server, forward lookup zones, anand.net. So go to this last entry that is Windows Server 2008.anand.net. So click OK and click OK. And now you have to refresh the server. And now right click and click on launch NS lookup. So now you can see that the default IP address has been set up, which means now we have configured the active directory on this server. So what we do, we just create one user, the domain user. So click on start, programs, admin tools, active directory users and computers. So expand anand.net server, expand users, right click on this user, click on right click new and click on user. So you can uh, type any user. I can say like that uh, ABC. I think ABC is okay for us to just take a demonstration. Click on next. I type the password. Password should be strong. So I just uncheck this. I don't, I check this. User cannot change the password. Password never expires. So click on next and click on finish. So now we have made this server as a domain controller. So now what we have to do, I have to just go to the client and now I have to bind that client into the server. So what I do, I just go to start, right click on the computer, click on properties. Dev uh, that is called uh, chain settings. Click on change. So now it is a member of work group. So now click on domain and now type the domain full domain name that is anand.net which we have created on server 2008 so click on ok so now you can see it is demanding the password so type the username as administrator and type the administrator password So now you can see that welcome to anand.net domain, which means this message gives us the full, uh, you can say authorization that our server is properly configured. Our client is being joined in the domain. So click OK. So we have to restart the computer. So click close. And now we have to restart now. So when it restarts, uh, we just uh, log in with the ABC user. So till then, I just pause the video for some time. So now you can see that the Windows 7 has started loading up and now I just give the input that is control alt del and now I just click on that is I just go to full screen so I just go to switch user input so I just go to switch user other user and I type the username and voila so now I am able to log in into the domain. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install the domain controller, how to install uh, Active Directory on uh, Windows 2008 server, how to join the client into the server and how to install the DNS server. DNS server. So do give it a shot. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much.